So my name is Anne-Marie Imaphidon and I am CEO and co-founder of STEMX. Because these industries are growing and they also solve a lot of the big problems that we have as a humanity, right? So we need a lot more people um, that have this knowledge, that are able to work in those jobs and are able to contribute to that body of knowledge and, and to new discoveries. But also we need those two perspectives as well to be able to really, truly solve these problems in a way that's sustainable and that includes everybody. Um, so that's why we need more women working within these careers. I think that the main reason why we don't have that many is because of the social norms that we seem to have that this isn't something that women do or that it's not something that they're capable of but but you know there, there's a lot around um, the fact that it is something that women are very capable of and actually when women do these subjects when they work in these industries they do very very well um, so it, it's a shame that there's that perception or it seems one way when actually the reality is, is quite different. So STEMETS, um, we're all about working with the younger generation, so girls and young women, to encourage them and inspire them into these STEM fields. Um, and we give them real role models and we give them real um, opportunities to see that it's something that they can do, but to help them act on that and actually end up in those careers and in those industries. We, we do a number of things, it's all interventions and events um, and opportunities for the girls, so whether it's school trips, or mentoring, um, or a big residential you know, tech house. We run all kinds of projects. Um, all of them are always free for the girls. They're always fun for the girls, and there's always food for the girls. So that's our winning formula, and that's how we do it. But it's all about showing them role models, showing them industry, and allowing them to see themselves as people that can do well in that space. So, so far we've had 10,000 girls across the UK, Ireland and Europe come through our, our events and our organisation in the last three years. We've seen um, five main KPIs where we've seen improvements. So there's an improvement in their awareness of what's available, there's improvements in their perception of what, they, what it is to work in STEM, improvements in their network that they have within STEM and what we call kind of science capital and their awareness of, of people that work in this, an improvement in their confidence in themselves to be able to perform, um, and lastly improvement in their, in their knowledge as, as well of what's available, but also in, in how much of, this, of the STEM uptake that they're taking. So those are the five different key indicators that we're seeing improvements in. So the next steps for us, um, at the moment we're mainly UK and Ireland based and we're looking to kind of be pan-European and also across um, Africa as well. Two million girls is our, is our next target that we're working towards for them to kind of have these same interventions and have these same messages for them to learn um, and we have a mobile platform, a mobile app, sorry, and loads of different opportunities for them but two million is that number we're going for. With this is it, girls come and join us, come work in STEM, come and enjoy all it is to be a STEM ed. So in this there's a big role for teachers and educators to make sure that it's not just about knowledge transfer but it's also about motivation and inspiration alongside that because that eases the knowledge transfer. It's almost like the sugar with the medicine of trying to you know, put all these principles and all these facts um, into these young people. So for them the role is very much to make sure that they have a context, they have an awareness of what comes next for these students, of what the opportunities are if they choose these STEM subjects, but also that they show the creativity and the altruism that there is in working in STEM. So it's not that you only do maths and become a maths teacher, but that there's so many opportunities for you if you've studied maths, and the same with engineering, and the same with, maths, uh, with science, and the same with technology. So it's about showing the breadth of opportunities. One being that when I was about eight years old, I had a really great teacher who taught us everything, but um, his specialism was maths. And so he'd allow us to come in early to school and allow us to do like maths tests and maths competition, a couple of us in the class. And for me, that was one of the moments when I realised that this is something that I could do, something that I enjoyed. And I'd actually come to school early to come and do these maths tests when I was eight. So that was one. And the second one has been, you know, the, all the exams that I did really early. So for me, I did two GCSEs when I was 10 years old that you normally do at 16. And I did A-levels as well at, from 11 um, upwards. And I think for me, those were formative experiences because they taught me that 
you know, there's, even though there's failure, even though, you know, there's some questions I got wrong or some grades that I didn't like, that it's something that I can do and something that someone independently agreed that I can do or is that kind of confidence building experience, which is now what I try and give the girls with Cemets, where it's, you know, you built that app. Nobody else was there, nobody else did it with you. You sat down, you built that app, it's now on your phone. So those kind of confidence building opportunities is what I try to give to the girls as well now. So as a keynote here, it's been fantastic, it's been lovely, the response was great and it was a packed room as well, which is fantastic. So I've travelled quite fast, it's nice to be able to share the ideas with lots of people. Um, I think I'm really impressed here with the diversity of people that I hear, in terms of roles, but also in terms of countries that they're coming from. Um, and, and I think it's been really well organised as well. <laughs>